I'm here with Dave Hughes and Ben Jones from Hughes Jones Farrell. I'm James Bond and together we are building a theatre. Dave and Ben haven't built a theatre before, uh, which everyone generally sucks their teeth out. Do you want to talk to us about the process of doing something completely different? I think what we found very fascinating is that there's so much practicality required for building theatre and so much uh, almost that sort of boring delivery of stuff and yet you need to constantly be saying well actually this is about the experience of going to the theatre and I think our approach is very much to say right I've come off the tube, I'm here with my mum, I'm coming up the street, where am I going, what's the front door like, what's the what do I see when I walk in the building? How do I experience this? The approach is key. Having empathy for how people experience things. Um, and I, we were talking to someone the other day and they were sucking their teeth through the theatre. I said, yeah, but I've never been in an intensive care unit as a patient and yet I still design well as an architect. So you don't have to have done those things in order to design stuff, you simply have to understand those things. But presumably in, in the intensive care unit you would have spoken to the people at the hospital, spoken to the, the users, the nurses, the doctors. Yeah, but just as we've done with this. So yeah, yeah, it's the same approach. Yeah, so with this one, you know, we've been to see, if I was talking to someone, someone we've been to see 15, 20 theatres to have a tour and have a look around and ask people questions about technicality. The, I think the, the, the bit that we've is most technical relative to a different building type is to do with the lighting rigs, flying, and all the stuff that happens in both people's heads. Mm. I think you know seating is, and everything is one thing, but that is very specialist. I think that for us, that was a big. Yeah, I think what's nice for us is we just have no preconceptions at all about what you had to do, or could could or couldn't do. Um, and particularly, you know, when, when when we first met, you know, and talked about the feasibility of doing a theatre on this site, I think if if we if you came in today and asked us, we'd probably tell you that we couldn't couldn't be done on this site just because we have we have preconceptions. <laughs> you sure you should be telling me this? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I think what Ben said is that without the preconceptions, and it is very time-consuming to then learn all those things. But without the preconceptions, you are actually anything is possible. I think one of the problems is when you start knowing too much you make quick decisions. But I think that's, that's why we've worked so well together, because in theatre, the, the pure belief always is that anything's possible. We've got to admit everything's possible. Yeah. But what's um, really interesting, that's in theatre production. But yeah. Actually, in theatre design, there's an awful lot of people who, as you say, are, are very much, you've never done a theatre. Oh my God, how, how are they letting you do that? In theatre design, there is a real push for, you must have experience. But there are some real, Entrenched opinions yeah, in theatre theater design. <laughs> well, you can't have daylight in yeah. theatre. Yeah. Um, people do get set in their ways. Yeah. So Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. To have someone young and naive come along and say is, anything is, is, is blessing. possible is a blessing. Is, and, uh, oh, you, you tell us. It is. We're putting uh, roof lights to get some natural daylight into the studio in the main house. This is one of the things I think which is quite innovative. And it just seems to make sense where you have a large space like this. Economically, in terms of a business plan, you need multi-use. So we'd be looking at rehearsals during the day in that space or seminars or conferences. Um, also, you've got times when there's a get-in or a get-out or people are rigging. For all of those times, um, natural light is beneficial and um, nobody likes working in the darkness um, and not only is it beneficial to mankind in that in that sort of psychological sense um, that a lot of technicians have, have, have experienced it's also yeah. beneficial because obviously you don't have to turn all the lights on so in terms of energy efficiency as well it's, it's a lot more economical and um, sustainable uh, and therefore um, despite it presenting uh, a few challenges, we are um, uh, going ahead with it and, and we're very excited that, that we will be able to offer this unique um, provision and I think that's, that's really great and hopefully more people will, will follow that example. People, some people think, oh, daylight, how are you going to light the show? But no, we're, we're talking about blacking out during the shows. But also, 
Um, it could be a director or designer comes in and says, wouldn't it be a nice idea to use the dusk that's naturally there and, and light with that? And you've got a sort of combination in, in design terms of, of a traditional black box theatre lighting and somewhere like Regent's Park where it's all outdoors so you can, you can use those yeah. elements. I think that's quite exciting as well.